Well, howdy there, guys. Welcome back to Stewie MTG. Sorry for the long hiatus, but we are now back. It is the 6th of December, and I got this magic package in the mail. Um, it's actually been waiting around since Black Friday. Um, Amazon was having a sale on magic cards, and I had picked this up for what I thought was a decent price. I don't know. You guys can tell me. But let's go ahead and rip this open and see what we got. So what we have here is the Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle-Earth Starter Kit. Um, in fact, let me take a quick picture of that for the thumbnail. Got it. So, we've got, uh, it was on sale on Amazon for a Black Friday deal. Uh, I think it was $13. And um, the regular price was $19.99. Uh, so we'll see if that was actually a good deal, but let's get rid of this trash and get cracking, Captain. What do you guys say about that? Move this over here. How have you guys been? I know it has been some time since I have seen you guys uh, on the interwebs and uh, setting everything back up here. Uh, my wife had to borrow my tables one day uh, and uh, I just now got them all back and set up and deck building station open for the 20 or so some odd decks that are sitting right up over here for me to put together. But let's get opening this. So I also, in the meantime, have also recently ordered um, two secret layers. I got the new My Little Pony Part 2. And then I had picked up the Doctor Who Angels, of course. The thing I'm really kicking myself in the rear for is I somehow missed, I thought I had put a, a reminder for myself for the 100 card angel secret layer. So if you guys get a line on getting it, that one at a decent price, I'm not spending the $300 or whatever it is people want for it, let me know, please. So in here we've got a two-player starter set. There's a little how to play guide. Uh, it does come with the two little bit better deck boxes um, with some artwork on here and the one ring, of course. But more importantly, there's the, the cards. So let's go ahead and get the crack in this. Uh, how do they put this together? So, let's take a look at the commanders for each of the decks, and then I'll talk about and see if there's anything I'm in here I'm actually going to use. And, of course, we have ourselves here Sauron, the Lidless Eye. Five mana, four, four, when it enters the battlefield, gain control of a creature an opponent controls until end of turn, untap it, and it gains haste. Ooh, that's a steel effect tribal deck, if possibly. And is an avatar horror, so maybe avatar tribal in more, um, not, sorry, not Boros, in black red. Rakdos. One black and a red creatures you control get plus two plus zero until end of turn, and each opponent loses two life. So we have ourselves a mana sink. And we have ourselves here. Sorry guys, I'm I'm keeping the the codes for Arena. We have ourselves also Aragorn and Arwen. And there's been a whole lot of hullabaloo about the uh, race swapping going on here, but I'm not going to get into that right now. Aragorn and Arwen wed four and a Selesnia for a three six human elf noble. Vigilance, whenever this creature attacks, oh no, excuse me, whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks, put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control. You gain one life for each other creature you control. This is probably most likely going in my plus one, plus one counters deck. So let's see, let's go Rakdos, the Rakdos deck. 
Now there are, because this is a two-player starter and they're introducing them to 60-card, quote-unquote, standard format, um, there are mul multiples. And of course, as I'm opening this up, the wrappers stick in my hand. All right, let's take a look. We've got... Call him! Call him! <laughs> we have our scheming guide, two mana, two one. Whenever it attacks, put the top two cards... Look at the top two cards of your library. Put them back in any order, and then choose a land or non-land. An opponent guesses which, whether the top of your library is the chosen kind, reveal the card. If they guess right, remove Golem from combat. Otherwise, you draw a card, and Golem can't be attacked, blocked this turn. Excellent. Definitely. Um, probably going in my horror deck. We have the Witch King, which I was totally looking forward to, uh, because I am building a Wraith tribal deck. The Witch King, 6 mana, 5, 3, Wrath Noble with flying. Whenever it attacks, defending player sacrifices a creature with the least power among the creatures they control. We have the Fires of Mount Doom. 3 mana, Legendary Enchantment. When it enters a battlefield, deals 2 damage to target creature and opponent controls. De destroy all equipment attached to that creature. You can also spend three mana and exile the top card of your library. You may play that card this turn. When you play a card this way, Fires of Mount Doom deals two damage to each player. This would go great in an exile. Um, exile tribal. Balrog, the Flame of Undun. Uh, five mana, seven, seven. Avatar Demon, Trample. When a legendary creature an opponent controls dies, put this card on the bottom of its owner's library. We have ourselves a goblin assistant, two mana, two, two goblins, three of those. We've got an Easterling Vanguard, two mana, two, one. When it dies, you amass one. Yay, two copies of Feed the Swarm. Look at that. Yes, yay, thank you. We have ourselves a Bird Horror, 3 mana, 1-1 one, one Flying, when it enters a Mass Orcs 2. We have a Mordor Trebuchet, or Trebuchet as my dad would say. 3 mana, 1-4 Defender, when you attack with one or more Goblins or Orcs, create a 2-1 Colorless contract, Construct Artifact Creature Token, with Flying named Ballistic Boulder. That's tapped and attacking, sacrifice the token at the end of combat. We have a Snarling Warg, 4 mana, 3, 4, with Menace, or Manache. As long as you control a Goblin or Orc, Snarling Warg gets plus 1, plus 0. Shelob's Ambush, already going in my Spider Tribal deck. Um, target creature gets plus 1, plus 2, and Death Touch until end of turn, and you get a food token. Nasty End, as an additional cost to play the spell, you may sacrifice a creature. Draw two cards. If the sacrificed creature was legendary, draw three cards instead. We have Gothmog, Morgul Lieutenant, four mana, three, three. When it enters the battlefield, a mass orcs one. Creature tokens you have, you control, have death touch. That is an important keyword to have. Voracious, voracious fell beast, five, excuse me, six mana, four, four flying. When it enters, each opponent sacrifices a creature and create a food token for each creature sacrificed this way. Swarming of Moria. Three mana, sorcery, create a treasure token and a mass orcs two. We have a couple of these troll soldiers. Four mana, four fours, trample. And it cannot block unless you control a goblin or an orc. We have an oliphant, six mana, six four. With Trample, whenever it attacks, a, another target creature you control gets to plus two, plus zero, and gains Trample until end of turn, and it has Mountain Cycling for one. Cast into the Fire. Deals one damage to each of up to two target creatures, or exile target artifact. The exile is great. Fire of Orthonk. Four mana sorcery. Destroy target artifact or land creatures without flying. Cannot block this turn. Goblin Fire Leaper, two mana, one one. Two mana, Goblin Fire Leaper gets plus one, plus zero until end of turn. When it dies, deals damage equal to its power to target creature and opponent controls. 
I'm not going to even try and pronounce that, but the Brash Instigator. It is a three mana, one one legendary goblin soldier. When it comes into the battlefield, a mass orcs two, and when you do, until end of turn, gain control of the target non legendary creature and opponent controls with power less or equal to the amassed army's power. Untap that creature, it gains haste until end of turn. For a orcs, there's a couple of those. Four mana, sorcery, a mass orcs two. When you do, it deals X damage to target creature and opponent controls, where X is the amassed army's power. Uh, we've got amassed tribal going on here. We have Urukai Captain, 2 mana, 2-2. Two, two. Uh, legendary creature, orc soldier, menace. If m one or more plus one plus one counters, maybe put on an army, goblin, or orc you control, put that many plus one plus one plus one counters instead. We have of the white hand, a four mana three three. Whenever another creature you control dies, put a one plus one plus one counter on it. If that creature was a goblin or orc, put two counters on it instead. A mind stone, excellent re uh, reprint. We have ourselves four evolving wilds. Can never have enough of those. We have an assortment of swamps and the mountains. A couple food tokens and then on your turn and let's take I know this video is a little long let's take a look at the Selesnya colored deck I'm thinking some of the cards from the Selesnya are going to be going into my soldier tribal and then the uh, Lord of the Rings themed food tribal deck we have ourselves Frodo two men a 2-2 legendary creature halfling warrior Whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks, you may attach a target equipment you control with mana value 2 or 3 to Frodo. As long as it's your turn, prevent all damage that would be dealt to Frodo. Um, probably going in my um, equipment tribal. Gandalf the White Rider, 4 mana, 3, 3, Avatar Wizard Legendary. Vigilance, whenever you cast a spell, creatures you control get plus 1, plus 0 until end of turn, and then you scry 1. Uh, Spellslinger Central. When Gandalf dies, you may put it into its owner's library, fifth from the top. We have ourselves Galadriel, excellent card, going into elves. Uh, five mana, four, four, legendary elf noble. Whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks, you choose one. Either plus one, plus one counter on a creature, create a food token, or create a treasure token. Bilbo's Ring, the budget version of the One Ring. Three mana, as long as it's your turn. Equipped creature has hexproof and can't be blocked. Whenever equipped creature attacks alone, you draw a card and you lose one life. And equip costs four, or if you equip a halfling or hobbitses, you get reduced to one. We have three knights of the keeps, three mana, three two knights. Westfold Rider, a three one knight, and you can see Sack it to destroy artifact or enchantment. Be smart cavalier, two mana, two two. Um, when it and it almost has death touch for goblins or orcs. Whenever it deals damage to a goblin or orc, you destroy it. East farthing farmer, three mana, two three. When it enters, create a food token. Whenever when when you do, target creature you control gets plus one plus o oh, plus one plus one until end of turn for each food you control. Two Protectors of Gondor, when it enters, you get a 1-1 white human creature soldier creature token. And it's a 4 mana 3-3. Three, three. You know, Dundin Blade, 2 mana, art artifact equipment, equip cost 3, or equip a human for 1. Equip creature gets plus 2, plus 1. Second breakfast. Well, we already had first breakfast. What about second breakfast? What about elevensies? Tea? Yes. Three mana instant. Up to two target creatures get plus two plus one until end of turn, and you create a food token. Rosy Cotton. Three mana, one one. When it enters the battlefield, create a food token. Whenever you create a food token, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control other than Rosy. We have two banishing lights. Three mana when it enters. Uh, exile a non land, non land permanent and opponent controls until. Banishing Light leaves the battlefield. We have the Horizon Witness, 5 mana, 3, 4, Flying Bird Novel. 
Whenever two or more creatures you control attack a player, target attacking creature without flying gains flying until end of turn. You cannot pass. One mana instance. Destroy target creature that blocked or was blocked by a legendary creature this turn. We got two mushroom watchdogs. Two mana two two dog. Sacrifice the food, put a plus one plus one counter on this creature. It gains vigilance until end of turn. I only activate as a sorcery. We have two worse woes, Pathfinder. Two mana, human shaman one one. Tap to add one mana of any color. And six mana tap, another target creature gets plus three plus three and trample until end of turn. A couple bag end porters, four mana dwarf, four four. Whenever it attacks, gets plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is the number of legendary creatures you control. Generous Ent going into Tree Folk, maybe. Six mana, five, seven. When it enters the battlefield, create a food token and has four cycling for one. Many Partings is a card I'm seeing in many different decks, especially on Arena. Search your library for a basic land card. You may put it in your hand and then shuffle, create a food token. Galadrian Bow. Three mana equip artifact equipment with flash. When it enters the battlefield, attach it to a target creature you control. Untap that creature. Equipped creature gets plus one, plus two, and has reach, and has equipped cost of two. We have a Brandy Buck. Two mana, two, two, halfling, legendary. Whenever one or more halflings you control attack a player, create a food token. Peregrine Took. Fool of a Took. Three mana, two, three. If one or more tokens you would be created under your control. Those tokens plus an additional food token are created instead. And you may sacrifice three foods to draw a card. Very much a staple in the new food deck. Stew the Conies. Three mana. Instant. To target creature you control deals damage equal to his power to target creature you don't control and you create a food token. We have the Bree Innkeeper. Four mana, three, three. Oh, human Peasant. At the beginning of your end step, if you don't control a food, create a food. We have a couple Shire Terrace, which is a Lord of the Rings version of Terramorphic Expanse. And a couple of Grape Belt Refuges. Some, an assortment of forests. An assortment of plains. A couple food tokens, and then on your turn. Well, this has been a look at the Lord of the Rings starter kit. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, I think everybody's seen it by now, but since I got it, I figured I might as well open it and figure out what we got. Uh, this has been Stewie MTG, and I'll catch you all later.